Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Um, today we are doing the volcano stitch. So you can see here, if camera focuses, there's the little volcanoes here and then the plumes of smoke that are visible and very cute. Um, this is a great um, stitch for blankets and uh, scarves, wraps, whatever you would like, even tops. Uh, it's quite thick if you're using thicker yarn. Obviously you can use whatever yarn you want for this project. Um, and if you have Variegated yarn like I used for this obviously it's going to um, Show up a little bit like this, but you can use um, gradient yarn which might look very cool with the different colors um, Across here for for the plumes and for the volcano parts and uh, Yeah, or you can use a solid color whatever you would like I used for this little sample um, something for my shop, which is, which is called Trumpeter, and it's based on this, um, medieval, well, these two medieval figures, um, these beautiful black trumpeters from a medieval manuscript. So, uh, you can find that in the, in my shop at republicofyarnia.com. Um, yeah, so it's a kind of an orangey red color, and then there are emerald and um, golden yellow specks. And uh, yeah, so we will leave the advertising <laughs> to the side for now um, and get right to the project. It's a two row repeat, it's so easy, you will be able to work something up in no time. So, um, yeah, so just grab whatever yarn you would like and whatever hook size is appropriate for that. I am just, for this, I, again, I'm just using the merino and nylon um, sock weight yarn and it's got kind of a stretch to it so it's nice and stretchy and soft. And I'm going to use a four millimeter hook for this. Um, so to start, you just make your make your slip knot, and you are going to be working in multiples of four um, with your chains. So for this one, as an example, I chained um, thirty two, and that created this length or this width of a project. So if you are working on a blanket, you're going to have to make um, quite a few chains. Uh, probably if you're making a baby blanket between 100, 120, maybe even a little bit more um, chains. So for this little short tutorial, I am going to chain 12. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you can also make little um, coasters with these as well, little square coasters. So uh, this you might need a larger size than twelve, but this is just to give you an idea of how to start this. So once you do your multiples of four, You'll have to chain one, okay? And then all the way across, you are going to do single crochet. So you'll have 12 again. So one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. 
Okay, so just like that, very simple. So whatever size project you're doing, just go through and do a single crochet all the way across. And that is your row number one. So for row number two, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and then turn your work. And then into the, if you can see that, into the fifth chain from your hook. So that's just the sort of the starting stitch here and into the back loop only. So you see how there's at the top, there's, there's two loops here. You're just going into the back loop of all of your, so for every even row, you're only going into the back loops. So just remember that. So into the back loops, <laughs> into the fifth chain from your hook, you're going to do, you're going to start a double crochet. So yarn over and into the back loop, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then don't complete your double crochet. So we're going to yarn over again and then into the next back loop of the next stitch, you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, and then pull through two again. So that's, so you'll have three loops on your hook and then yarn over and into the next stitch, you're doing the same thing. So you pull up a loop go through two and you will have four loops on your hook now these three here are going to be your volcano um, it's too blurry probably so into these here these these ones not the plumes but these three stitches are your volcano so you're going to yarn over and pull through three stitches and then yarn over and pull through those two stitches just like that and you've created a little volcano okay so now we're going to create the plume the little smoke cloud here so to do that we're going to make a puff stitch so what you do is you yarn over and into this space here in between the volcano and your first four chain four you're going to pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop so you do that four times okay and then yarn over and pull through all of those just like that and you've created a little smoke cloud so mine is opposite here um it's got a white cloud well it's a white cloud and a red volcano here i guess that's not the opposite so you will see um the the left side of your volcano is kind of lifted here that is the next space you're going into right here okay so what you're going to do is you're going to do um three half double crochets again or incomplete ones so i'll show you that so yarn over and into this um, double crochet that you just completed pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two now yarn over again into the next stitch but just the back space again pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two then yarn over into the next stitch just the back space or the back stitch pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two and you will have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through three of them, 
and you've created your volcano, yarn over and pull through the next two. And then you're going to create your smoke cloud. So again, you just do a puff stitch. So yarn over and into this space, you'll see too, there will be two kind of holes in here. You want to go into the lowest one where uh, you don't go into the top. So make sure that you're kind of going underneath this stitch here. So go down, you pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all of those stitches. And that is your second smoke cloud. So again, we're going to go into this stitch that we completed here and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's your volcano. Yarn over and pull through three. Yarn over and pull through the next two. There's your volcano. Then you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then Yarn over and pull through all of those, just like that. So just continue with that, just into the back loops and complete double crochets. So that's one, then into the next one, two, into the next one, three. So you'll have four chains on your hook, or four loops I mean, then pull through three of them, yarn over, pull through the other two, and then do your puff stitch. Just like that. And then our last smoke stack. Is just a puff stitch. And then once you get to the end, you should have one stitch left and into the back stitch only you are going to do a treble crochet so yarn over twice and into the back loop only you pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two just like that and that is a volcano stitch now for row three you chain one and that's it's basically row one again so all you're doing is doing a single crochet row all the way across so i'll show you how to do that so you go into so after you chain one and you turn your work you go into the first stitch first space here And if you look at the top, you just turn your work and look at the top, you'll see all the, the uh, stitches that you have to work into. So you've worked into that. Now you work one into the top of the puff stitch. 
and then you work one into the chain space one into the puff stitch then one into the chain space into the puff stitch all the way across so then when you get to the end of that row so your odd numbered rows are always just a single crochet all the way across when you finish that last puff stitch here you go into the um chain four that you have of your previous row and you do two single crochets into that just to even it out just like that now we'll do one more row um so this is the even row again this is row four so we chain four one two three four turn your work and if you remember we're doing our half double crochets or our incomplete double crochets i shouldn't say they're half but instead of going into the fifth chain from the hook you're actually going into the sixth but always going into the back as well as remember the back loops so from now on you're going into the sixth chain from the hook and you're doing an incomplete double crochet and then into the next one an incomplete double crochet and then into the next one an incomplete and that will give you four loops yarn over and pull through three yarn over and pull through two and there is your volcano and then just do your puff stitch for the smoke Just like that and then you're doing the volcano part again so that's into the back loops only just like that and then your puff So just continue along until you get to your final um, stitch here, the final part of your um, smoke pile on top of the volcano and then into the chain space below you do a treble crochet. Just like that. And that is the next row. That, that's the even numbered rows. So then, of course, for the odd numbers, chain one, turn your work. And again, it is just a single crochet all the way. And that is basically it, everybody. Um, that's how easy this is. So hopefully... Um, this was useful. Uh, if it was, you can subscribe or give a thumbs up. Make sure at the very end you do two single crochets just to even it up. And boom, that is it. That is your volcano pattern. Just like that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, go to it. Have fun enjoy yourself um happy crocheting and we'll see you next time take care everybody bye bye